There we go. Okay. Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to YouTube with your host Kinkukin and today we got another Destiny 2 video training tips and tricks. And tip that we're going to be covering today is sniping a sniper. Now, I don't have any footage right here. I'm not going to Oh, this is how you snipe snipers. There's no miracle. There's no magical fucking talent. You can either out snipe a sniper or you can't. No, what I'm going to bring to the table here, the point I'm going to bring forward is when you are sniping on your team and there is a sniper on the enemy team and you're losing the sniper fight, stop sniping against him. Stop challenging his lanes. Give it up. Do something else for the game. Do something else for a couple of rounds. Especially if you're negative and he's positive, right? As the round goes on, you'll see I'm negative, my teammate's negative, my teammate's negative. If you're negative and then your other two teammates are negative, this is what happens. This is this is not now. This is going to be something that is has nothing to do with sniping, but it's relevant to everything in Destiny 2 PvP. When somebody on your team dies, the enemy has the potential, and a good team will do it. It is a, now a 3v2. They're going to push. They're going to collapse your other two teammates, which means they're a man down. So if they're both engaging in a one-on-one -on -one and a one-on-one, -on -one, and they're close to each other, like your teammates are close, and you try to hold off two people, there is a third guy unaccounted for that you can't stop. He's uncontested. It's, it's, it's a free guy shooting at you. So all you do when you snipe against a sniper and you die and you lose that fight, you allow the enemy team an opportunity to pick off the rest of your team and kill them so that cascades into not just bad kds that now you have a life disadvantage they have more super energy they have more time to play the game how they want to you're catching up you're catching up you're catching you constantly have to catch up so stop challenging the snipers if you're losing the sniper fight even if you're not sniping let's say it's a bow same scenario don't challenge the bow if he's winning the fights. Stop it. If you're using a scout rifle against a bow, a scout rifle against a sniper, anything that's, you know, it could go, you could bring this into any scenario. If you're losing that fight, tell your teammates, hey, I'm having a hard time with this one guy. He goes off by himself every time. Can someone else challenge him? Let your other teammates see if they can do it. Maybe they, maybe they can kill the guy. Maybe your shot's off. Maybe their shot's on. Maybe they do something you don't do, their play style is different, their loadout is different, it doesn't matter. Give them an opportunity to do something else. Say, hey, I can't handle this, you know, and someone else do it. If it's a stalemate in a match, just take your time. Play patiently. Let them push you more than you push them. And then, if at that point you cannot defend the location, you got to tell your team, guys, I can't handle this guy. You know, I need help. I need to switch. I need, I need a team push. Something, right? So you control your lives, you give the people on your team that are doing better than you during that match more lives to play with, so there's more opportunities for them to come in and make a play before it cascades into a snowball effect of disaster. Thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, catch me on Twitch, and as always...